When conducting plant field surveys, in addition to making field observations and keeping records, plant specimens must be collected and preserved to be used as research material and evidence for further studies. The collected plants will be preserved in the form of herbarium sheets. A herbarium sheet is made by flattening and drying plants. Herbarium sheets can be preserved for a long time due to their low moisture content. The majority of plant specimens are prepared and stored as herbarium sheets, which, due to their flat profile, help save storage space. This video will introduce the process and guidelines for preparing herbarium specimens. An ideal plant specimen must exhibit as many features of the plant as possible. Branches and leaves of higher vascular plants are the most identifiable and easiest parts to obtain. As such, one should make an effort to select the most healthy and intact specimens available when collecting. Flowers and fruits are the most important traits for identifying plants. Therefore, branches bearing flowers and fruits should be obtained when collecting. In addition, there are different collection guidelines for particular plant species. For example, herbs should be collected in their entirety, while leaves bearing sporangia should be selected when collecting ferns. On-site field information must also be recorded when collecting specimens. Each specimen must be numbered by the collector with its own collection number. The locality and time of the collection, as well as the name of the collector, should also be recorded. Information such as the height of a tree, the color of a flower, description of habitat and microenvironment, and characteristics that will not be visible on the plant specimens, is essential to academic research. These types of information should be recorded too. A herbarium sheet is completed after cleaning and trimming, pressing, drying, removing pests, mounting, and labeling the collected branches and leaves. Collected branches and leaves that are too long, unhealthy, or wilted must be trimmed off. Unwanted foreign matter, such as dirt, must be removed to ensure the cleanliness of the specimen. The cleaned plants are then laid out on top of a newspaper. The branches and leaves should be spread out evenly to avoid overlapping. Finally, the newspaper should be folded over to cover the plant and pressed flat. The next step is to dry the pressed plant. All pressed specimens should be stacked. Spacers, such as corrugated cardboard, are then inserted between every other specimen to allow room for ventilation and evaporation. To flatten the stack of specimens, a heavy object or wooden frame should be used to tightly compress them. The newspaper coverings should be replaced every day until no moisture remains and the specimens are completely dry. Professional herbaria use wooden or metal frames to tightly press 25 to 30 specimens together. Afterwards, the specimens are dried in a large dryer at 40 degrees Celsius. This process takes about four to five days to complete. After the drying process is completed, professional herbaria eradicate pests so that plant specimens can be preserved longer. Specimens are placed into a minus 80 degree cryogenic freezer for two to three days 
to kill any pests and their eggs that have survived the drying process. The cryogenic freezer destroys the pest's viability, which is the goal of eradicating pests. After drying the specimens, the next step is to mount them on mounting paper. Mounting paper is a white piece of thick A3 sized cardboard. Branches and leaves of specimens should be secured with masking tape onto the mounting paper. Thicker branches should be sewn onto the mounting paper with cotton thread to ensure that they are firmly attached. Parts that may easily fall off the specimen, such as fruits, should be placed in small paper bags and attached to the mounting paper. After the specimens have been mounted, the final step is to affix the specimen label on the lower right-hand corner of the mounting paper. The collection label should contain the plant specimen's scientific name, the name of the collector, collection number, date and locality of collection, and other collection data such as habitat. Unique numbers are used in professional herbariums to distinguish specimens. A herbarium sheet is finished after the completed specimen label is attached to the mounting paper. Long-term collection, preparation and preservation of plant specimens provide researchers with valuable and comprehensive information about plants. This has important reference value for plant taxonomic and systematic research, phytogeographical distribution, and assessment of endangered species. The Herbarium of Taiwan Forestry Research Institute houses a vast collection of plant specimens. In addition to digitizing its plant specimens to make them available for online searching and browsing, the information on plant specimens at the herbarium has been extensively used in the publication of academic books such as Flora of Taiwan and Rare and Endangered Plants in Taiwan. Be sure to visit the official website of the Herbarium of Taiwan Forestry Research Institute for more information.